How to get an infinite chopper gunner on Liberty Falls in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. First, you'll need to complete the main easter egg. Once you complete the easter egg, go over to the generator in the church and it should be ready to activate to start the boss fight. You want to leave it just like this and now you'll need to get a chopper gunner. You can get a chopper gunner multiple ways and it doesn't matter how you get it. I also recommend pack-a-punching your weapons and getting perks before you do the boss fight. Once you have a chopper gunner and you're ready to fight the boss, make your way to the church. While you're here, you want to complete a full round inside the church. I made it into the church on round 24, and to complete a full round, I stayed until round 26. Once you've completed a full round staying inside the church, you want to save and quit your game. If you don't do this, you won't be allowed to use a chopper gunner when you need to. Now you want to load your game back up and simply run over to the generator to start the boss fight. You'll need to survive the first two waves and wait for the abomination to spawn in on the third wave. If you don't know how to do the infinite ammo glitch for the jet gun that I'm using right now, click the video above now or the link in the description for the tutorial. Now you want to get the abomination very low on health, but you don't want to kill him yet. Once he's low, get ready to activate your chopper gunner. Right when you see the abomination die, you want to activate your chopper gunner. From here, you'll be inside the chopper gunner and the cutscene will show up. You want to skip the cutscene and hit continue to stay in the game. You'll spawn back at the spawn location with a bunch of drops, power-ups, and a perkaholic. If you switch your weapons, you'll see you'll have a third weapon now, which is the chopper gunner. If you use the chopper gunner right now, it will only shoot a small burst and then switch weapons by itself. To make the chopper gunner shoot infinitely, you'll need to get a free fire gobble gum and use it while you have your chopper gunner out. Now you'll have your chopper gunner the entire game and can go through each round extremely quickly. There are a few great spots to use this glitch in. First, if you go to the top of the Yummy Freeze rooftop, they'll jump down from the roof above you and jump up in front of you. You can stay in this corner and they'll all line up just like this. The second spot is the spawn location. You'll need to look two different ways, but you'll still be able to kill all the zombies quickly. The third spot is the zipline right next to the Wonder Fizz. All the zombies will come running at you and they'll all come from the same direction. And the last spot is the hotel room. This spot has a very fast spawn rate and you can look straight ahead to the doorway. Every few seconds, you'll need to turn to the left to kill zombies coming from the barrier. There won't be many coming from the barrier, so you can focus mainly on the doorway. There's a ton of different spots you can use this glitch in. These are the ones that I found the best. Whichever spot you do this in, make sure you have a plan to get out in case the AFK warning pops up and you need to move around. If the AFK warning pops up, you won't be able to move while your chopper gunner is out. You'll need enough time to switch weapons and run away. You can also equip the Aether Shroud field upgrade to help you with this glitch. This is crazy for getting to high rounds and ranking up very fast. You'll get a ton of XP and you barely have to move while doing this glitch. Leave a like and subscribe for more zombie glitches.